Hi everyone, this is a VR to Laura and Smokes giveaway and I'm smoking my Dr Plum and in it I've got some a Balkan Sobrani copy um, from the Danish pipe shop sorry it's oh dear oh dear Well, that looks the wrong way around, but it's 279 Balkan Sobrani copy. It's it's not bad, it's a nice, um, sort of lap, lap smoke. First of all, I want to just say a little bit about the about Lauren Smoke's um, channel. You, you put up some really good stuff and I really enjoy what, you, what you're doing and I'm sure that your um, sub count's going to go way up because what you, put, what you post is well worth watching. You asked for an example of generosity, a generous act that we weren't expecting. Well, in the 70s, I worked for a paper mill. I was a labourer in a paper mill. My job was pushing around two tonne rolls of paper and loading up the cutting machines. I was on what was called stack. But during the 70s, England went through a very, well, the United Kingdom went through a very bad time. Um, and a lot of us were put onto a three day week. I had two young children a mortgage and all that goes with that and to be honest it was very very difficult to manage because no sooner would we um, get back to work than we'd be off and then before you could claim any unemployment benefit you were you had five waiting days and at the end of that you'd be back at work so you couldn't any you couldn't really claim any extra money and three days um, wage just wasn't enough to live on. So we, we were really struggling. At the end of the row of terraced houses that we lived at, there was a shopkeeper. And not long after we were put on short time, he knew we were struggling. He suddenly appeared at the door when Carolyn was at home and said, I wonder if you can help me. He's, I didn't know who else to ask, He's, but I'm, I'm asking you. He said, I've overbought at the market. So I wonder if you could take a, a sack of potatoes. Um, I've also got some extra veg that I, I can't use. Um, you'd be doing me a real favour if you, if you took it. He said, I'd hate to throw it away. And then virtually every week he'd come down with something that he'd overbought. One day he came down with a, a whole box of lemons and Carolyn made um, lemon curd. You know, and, and, but he kept us going really by his generosity of just bringing down stuff and sort of saying, I've overbought, you know, be a real help if you can take this off my hands. It was usually potatoes, vegetables, that kind of thing, but it, it meant that we could have a meal, even if it was only boiled potatoes and, and veg or, or chips. But the other thing that happened is that we'd suddenly find a joint of meat on the, on the um, step with a little note saying, God knows you have need of this and, and uh, that kind of thing. And I've never really forgotten that. I've never really forgotten the shopkeeper because he he didn't have to do what he did. <coughs> and times were tough for him because everybody was on short time. The, the power kept going off for most of the day. You were only allowed uh, so many hours electricity a week. 
and it would be cut off at odd times. But he, he got us through that bad period. And, you know, it's really good of him. And I've tried as far as possible to to pay forward what he did for us because he wouldn't take anything for it. He wouldn't um, let us pay anything or give him anything. It was always, always, no, you're doing me a favour. Could you please do me a favour? Um, There were times when we just received so much from people, people that we really didn't know. Um, for example, the, the ch both the children had worn out their shoes, they'd got holes in them, and we had absolutely no idea how we were going to be able to buy shoes for them. They'd come home from school and it was clear that they had to have something. It was winter. And we didn't tell anybody, you know, we, we sort of went to bed. But in the morning, there was an envelope shoved through the door. And in it was enough money to buy two pairs of shoes. And on it again, it just said, God knows you have need of this. I mean, at that time, we belonged to a very active church, so it was probably somebody from church who just, at that time, thought, you know, they need help. And although I don't believe in God at the moment, it, it you know, you do have questions about it. How did they know? How was it that exactly that time something came? But the shopkeeper, I might have said this before in one of the videos, when we got married, we had collected virtually all the furniture that we needed except for a double bed. So we had no bed to sleep on. And we went into the shop. And the, this same shopkeeper said, I wonder if you need a double bed. Um, we've got one upstairs that we don't use, and we know you've just got married. If it's any good, you can have it. So we did. But later on, when we went into the shop and it was full, he was always joking, this guy. And the full shop, and we walked in, and he said, Hey, you two, no more credit until you pay your bill. <coughs> <coughs> I've told you, you know, you've got to pay your bills. And we were sort of, God, you know. And his wife said, oh, don't take any notice of him, he's joking. And she turned to her husband and said, you know, they'll get you back. And he, apparently he'd been saying, no, they won't, no, they won't. So we waited until we saw the shop was full. And we rushed in and said, oh, we did enjoy sleeping in your bed together last night. Can we do the same tonight? We just went bright red and just sank below the counter. And his wife said, I told you. But anyway, that's my um, a generous act. It's the only one I could think of, really, that, that was really an unexpected and, um, you know, a generous act from somebody who, who we didn't expect. I want to wish you all your best for the future for your channel and for you. You know, as I say, I really like what you put up. I don't often watch the police ones, but I certainly watch your smoking ones. And a lot of times you, you, you talk a lot of sense and, and very helpful. 
So I'm going to wish you all the best and hope that this is all right for the giveaway.